Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Vizzy Art Petty for collection for the holiday season. I am so excited about this. Vizzy Art, you have spoiled us. I totally feel so spoiled. We just got this amazing launch of the Bijouette and the Kashmiri palettes, and like this was enough for me. This was all I needed from the holidays for them, but we just got four little cutie quads that are just adorable and beautiful. And thank you, Vizzy Art. We did not deserve this, but definitely made my holiday season better. So if you want to see my thoughts on all of these quads, a tutorial using each, all that good stuff, then just keep watching. So if you're new to my channel, I love Vizzy Art. I've been a longtime fan of them for years now at this point. Even since before I started my YouTube channel, I use their eyeshadows in my makeup kit and I am constantly using them in my everyday routine and reviewing them on my channel. I know that I've introduced many of you guys to Vizzy Art as well, so I know a lot of you are just as excited as me. And these new quads are really adorable and very festive. I want you to take a look. Like you can just tell right here from the side of the components how festive these are for the holiday season. This isn't the first time that they've come out with these tiny little cute quads. About a year ago, I'm not sure the exact date, but they launched four, as you can see, these are a little bit more subtle, more wearable, absolutely beautiful. I know so many of you guys loved these as well, but look how much more fun this year's are. They've stepped up the packaging. The color stories are a little bit more bold, but they're still wearable enough. So I know you guys will definitely appreciate these color stories because they stepped a little bit outside but not so much so that we would feel uncomfortable. To introduce the palettes, they say roar into the winter party season. This is our celebration of all things luxe inspired by the iconic French and American 1920s jazz age full of fabulousness and I just love that. I definitely feel like Gatsby 1920 vibes from this. The color stories definitely reminisce in that. The names of the shades will reminisce in that as well. Really really thoughtfully done. So in this collection of four I'm just going to quickly show you what we're going to get. We have Garnet which is the warmer of the quads. Then we have Bouillon which I think Ugh, I'm thinking New Year's with this one. I love it. It's neutral but smoky. We also have Lapis, which is a fun blue one, but it still is a little bit more wearable. But this one's a nice pop for those of you that like colors. And then we have Peridot, which I know a lot of you already told me you are heavily eyeing this one. So I even wore green for it because I'm really excited about this one. Each of these quads are going to be $25 each, which I mean, okay, $25. It's not gonna break the bank, which I really enjoy, but I do acknowledge $25 is still a lot just for four shades, but Vizzy Arts ain't no cheap brand. They are professional grade products. The formulations work in that way as well. You can tell, they're for pros. I ordered these off of the Vizzy Art website because of what I do for a job. I just, I gotta get my hands on these as soon as I can. But they actually launched this morning on Muse Beauty Pro, which is typically where I prefer to order my Vizzy Art stuff because I do get a pro discount. And what I love about Muse Beauty Pro is, of course, their shipping's great. Everything comes well packaged. Customer service is great. But if you are a pro member and you can apply, you get 20% off of brand new items like these. They don't limit the new items for the discount as well. So I will have the link to that down below. Yeah, so let's talk about these quads. This is not the first time Vizzy Art has launched a style palette like these. About a year ago, like I said, they came out with their first kind of trial of these and these were absolutely beautiful. I know so many of you really enjoyed these and held on to some of these color stories and used them a lot, but they're definitely a little bit more subdued, more wearable. So we definitely took a jump this year into something a little bit more exciting in my opinion and I love that Busy Art has started decorating each of the outer packaging of these. I'm a big packaging person, I know not all of you are, but I really think even just adding these designs here added so much more personality to the palettes and it made it more of an exciting experience for me as a consumer. So just this little touch of detail I feel like shows that they're making 
the effort, but they still are staying true to their typical style packaging. Now the size of the pants are going to be the same size as the Itandu palette. So if you have Kashmiri, Bijou Wet, Mink Set, Grande Pro Volume 1, the second version that they came out with. Most of the palettes that they've come out with this past year, I think they're shifting over to this size. All of these are interchangeable. So the way that Vizzy Art creates these palettes is they're super duper easy to take out. So if you have the Grande Pro one, which is huge, or you have the Bijouette, you can easily, for travel, just take out your four favorite shades that you need to create a look. And you can't get more tiny and travel friendly than this little quad. So feel free to interchange and mix with any of the sizes that match. It's super easy. And again, that's what makes Vizzy Art a pro brand. So from this point on, I am going to focus on each quad individually. I will have timestamps if there's only some that you are specifically looking for. So the first one, I think we're going to start off with the neutral one. So we're going to get started with Garnet. But each of these are going to come in outer packaging like so. All of these are going to be made in the USA and have a 36-month shelf life. This is one of my favorite parts of Vizzy Art. Most palettes on the market have about a 12 month shelf life. Busy Art's 36 months, three years. So these are gonna last you for a long time if the expiration date is something that you pay attention to. I love that. You really do get your bang for your buck as far as longevity with these palettes. I mean, the outer packaging I love. It's very informative. You can clearly see what colors you're getting, the names, and it directs you to what the color is, the exact ingredients, and all of that important stuff. So I actually really appreciate this. It's very, very handy. And then you just pull it out, and you guys have seen this is what Garnet looks like. Garnet is going to be the warmer of the four. So I would say of the four, this one is definitely going to be the most wearable. So if you're a neutral person, this might be the one that you look into. And I apologize with my pronunciation of these. <laughs> so I've never taken a French class and I looked up the names of the palettes, but I did not go deep enough into the names of the shadow. So we have Vedette, Cabaret, Cordial, and Pigal. And here's what they look like on my fingers. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yep. These are going to be good. I can already tell just by looking at this. So Vizette is a copper with a metallic finish. Cabaret is a golden bronze with a metallic finish. Pigal is a pale vanilla. P oh, this is not Pigal. <laughs> this is Cordial, which is a rich burgundy with a metallic finish. And then this is Pigal, a pale vanilla peach with a matte finish. Ooh, boring as it may be, you can't deny how gorgeous these are. And you can tell these metallics are very high quality just by these swatches. So let's get to application. For all of the looks today, I'm going to be starting off with my Vizzy Art eye primer. So I'm going to do a pretty simple eye look for each of these just because they're only quad. I really want to show you the performance of each shadow. I'm going to start off with the matte shade right here. So this is the only matte in the palette. The rest of the shades are metallics. I'm just brushing this all underneath my brow bone. I did get some fallout with this if you can see but nothing crazy. Just be aware that that might happen. I'm using an ESMS 33 and we're going to take the taupey shade right here. This is a metallic shade but I am going to use it as a crease shade. So I'm going to start off by patting it in the outer V and this pool is a little bit more golden than I was expecting. It is stunning though and I'm going to take whatever is left on my brush. We're going to blend it into the crease. So when you get a thinner layer of this shade and don't pack it on, it works just fine in the crease. But I wouldn't pack it on in the crease because then you're going to get something that's too golden and metallic. So make sure it's only just a haze of that color. So this can work as a crease color, though I do think I'd probably feel a little bit more comfortable maybe reaching into another palette for a matte shade. I'm going to quickly run that along the lower lash line as well. In ESMW21, we're going into Cordial. And I'm going to apply this to the center of my eyelid. And with a brush, you can see this still has a lot of opacity. Really is gorgeous. I'm going to take the tip of that brush and apply cordial the center of the lower lash line as well. I'm going to blend out the edge 
Sticking with this brush, I just wiped it off. We're gonna finish off with Vedette. This is gonna be the inner corner color. With an Isom T09, I'm going into the vanilla shade again. And even though it's a matte, I'm just gonna use it to brighten up the inner corner. I'm gonna use a blending brush, soften the edges. This is a really cute look for Thanksgiving. I would recommend maybe thinking about this during the fall time. It's really, really pretty. It's a cute look. And I did want to incorporate all four shades, but I think, you know, just using the red all over the lid, the orange all over the lid, even for only being four shades, you can get quite a versatile look with this. So I'll be back to show you the final look. Okay, so here is the final look with Garnet. I went pretty natural with liner. I just used the Natasha Denona Brown Liner, and I put on a natural pair of Ardell lashes, and this is just such a gorgeous fall palette. Very wearable. I would say of the four, it's probably the most dupable within my own collection, but I still think that this look is really gorgeous, and the quality is stunning. All right, let's dive into Bouillon, which I know a lot of you are going to love. This is neutral, but smoky. And here's what the outer carton is going to look like. It's not even a carton. What is this called? A sleeve, the outer sleeve. And then here's what the component looks like. Oh my gosh, I am dying for this black and gold print right here. I think it's so stunning. It's really vintage looking. Mm, I just love the look of the metal shades right here in that perfect black. We have Follies 1919, Brazen, and then Gilded. Oh, I, okay. Garnet was cool and all, but I'm definitely feeling Bouillon, that's for sure. So Follies is a light gold with a metallic finish. 1919 is a medium gold with a metallic finish. Brazen is a antiqued gold with a metallic finish. And then of course we have Gilded, which is a natural black with a matte finish. So the black's going to be the only matte, but I love all of the golden hues that we get in this quad. I love this one. This is such a pretty color story. It's wearable, but dramatic at the same time. They swatch beautifully. Let's put it on the eyeballs. Okay, applying my primer. We're gonna be very careful and precise with this, but using my Isom S33, we're going into the black shade. I'm gonna do a halo eye. It's gonna try and incorporate all three of the golds. So with this black, we wanna be very careful not to overblend it because I'm trying to stick into only this palette. If I was doing this with other palettes incorporated, I would have put a transition shade down. I'm just gonna go for it. So the black's quite pigmented. <laughs> Slowly blend the outer edges. If you are blending a black just like I am, the trick is to wipe off your brush in between blending so that you don't blend the black into unwanted places. So I blend and then I wipe. And I blend and I wipe. If you don't clean off that brush, then the black is just gonna end up everywhere and it's not going to be precise. Gonna blow out this edge a little bit. Okay, we're at a good starting point. We're gonna leave it there for now. Some W21. We're gonna start off with our antique gold shade right over here, the deepest gold. And I'm gonna put it not quite all over the black, but I'm bridging in between the eyelid and the black. So it's slightly covering the black, but we still have the black peeking through. So we are doing that halo eye, like I said. So we're starting off with this technique and we'll clean it up later. With that base layer down, we're gonna go into the medium gold now. Leave some space if you can. If you don't have much space because you have a small eyelid like me, that's okay. So I'm just getting placement down. Use some S31 and then we're going into the lightest shade. And then that goes in the center. So now at this point, we're gonna work on building and blending because I know it looks weird right now. It will come together. So I'm actually gonna reapply a little bit, like the tiniest bit of black to bring out the smokiness in the look. And then now that all the colors are down, I'm using the brush that has some of the black on it just to bridge over everything to create a quick smoky eye. To make it look seamless, blend the top. It's okay if they blend into each other. Then to finish it off, you're gonna focus a little extra black in the outer corner. Run the black along the entire lower lash line. I'm taking the antique gold shade right over the black, the inner half of the lower lash line. I'm gonna use the lightest shade to pop in the inner corner. Okay, once we get liner and lashes on, 
you'll see the full effect of this eye. It's gonna look really cool. Guys, is this not a New Year's Eve look? I am obsessed with this look. I used a black liner, big wing, inner corner wing. Ugh, it really pulled together. I was worried there for a second in the beginning. I was like, oh, is this gonna turn out how I want it to? It turned out exactly how I wanted it to. And don't be intimidated by the look that I did. You can just use this as liner. You don't need to put it in the crease. Or you can put it in the crease and you don't have to make a halo eye. You can just make a regular smoky eye. You can just use the gold. It doesn't need to be dramatic like this but I just wanted to show you the potential that it had but I'm feeling this I'm really excited about this one honestly for some reason I wasn't that excited about this one but now that it's on my eyes I mean I've only used two but it's my favorite of the two so here's the final look all right let's get into our blue friend lapis you need to take a look at the ingredients here it is for you right here and then now we have a nice navy and gold combo, which is gorgeous. The print is the same on all four, but it's the color combos that are different, but ugh, so beautiful. And here are the four shades. It is a blue palette, but they still have some neutrals to pair with it. So we have 19th, oh my gosh, I'm gonna mispronounce this, Bah House, Night Owl, and Blue Moon. All of these just feel amazing. This really is some of the best Viseart shimmer formulas. 19th is a golden nude with a metallic finish. Then we have Ba House, which is a silver with a metallic finish. Not the wettest silver I felt felt from Viseart before, but it's still good. Night Owl is a royal blue with a metallic finish. Blue Moon is a pale vanilla peach with a matte finish. Here are the swatches of Lapis. With an Isom V29, I'm taking the matte shade. We're just gonna use that to set underneath the brow. And I'm gonna put some along the way of the crease where a lot of blending is going to occur. On an Isom S33, we are going to take the blue shade. Gonna focus this in the outer V area. I'm not getting too much pickup from that. This is a blending brush. It's not a shading brush. Okay, now we're doing good. So I'm gonna do kind of a similar technique where I'm focusing the color in the outer corner and then I'm, with a clean brush, I'm gonna blend it inwards. But first, I do wanna put this in the outer third of my lower lash line as well. So we're starting off at a base point like this. So I've cleaned my brush. I'm gonna blend the edges and kind of blend it inwards to the crease. I'm gonna take just a little extra on my brush and blend it inwards. Okay, we're taking the W21 brush and I'm going into the tan shade right here and I'm going to fill in this blank area on the eyelid. This is kind of like a close to my skin tone color so it looks really pretty and shimmery. And blend the edges. Taking the Isom S31, we're going into the silver shade. Going to pop this in the inner corner, and then I'm getting it on the tip of my brush. I'm going to kind of blend that along the top of the inner corner. Now in an ideal world, I'd love to have a matte navy to kind of put in this outer corner here, but it's fine, we're working with what we have. I'm gonna take some more of that gold shade and run it along the lower lash line, just the inner half. This is gonna be a really fun wintry look. I'm gonna do liner and lashes and I'll be right back. Not gonna lie to y'all, I was a little worried, but with the liner and the lash, another look that I'm obsessed with. I used a navy pencil to create the liner. I used a baby blue pencil in the waterline and then I have my lashes and it all comes together for this really fun kind of winter inspired look. I love it. All right, let's get into the one that I know you guys have all been waiting for. We have Peridot, which is the green one. And green is the in color right now. So, so many of you were curious about this one. So this one, we have kind of like an emerald green background against the gold, really pretty, very 20s. And here are our four shades. And this one, I would say of the four is one of the more user-friendly ones in terms of the layout of depths here because you have a lighter shade, a deeper shade, a mid-tone shade, and then a super light shade. So it's a little bit more intuitive on how to use this one. So the shades here, we have Illusion Gatsby 
Gimlet and Green Light. So here's what they look like. Beautiful. Illusion is a creamy, soft, neutral buff brown with a matte finish. Gatsby is a khaki green with a metallic finish. That one didn't swatch the greatest. That's better. We have Gimlet, which is a bright green with a metallic finish, and then Green Light, which is a forest green with a metallic finish. So uh, this one is surprisingly wearable for being a green palette. I really like these shades. So using Isam G34, and we're going into the matte shade. This is just like the transition that I've kind of been wanting <laughs> for all of the palettes. So I'm happy that they have a matte transition in this one. Taking Green Light, because I kind of want this one to be the star of the show. And I'm just going to apply this pretty much all over the eyelid. Ugh, it is beautiful. Look at that. Great quality here. Make sure you blend the edges. I'm going to use some V33 and I'm going to take the khaki shade. And I'm just going to use this to add the depth. Yeah, this one is easily the most intuitive palette. And I'm going to also use that khaki shade in the outer half of the lower lash line. I'm putting the green shade that we used, putting that all over the lower lash line. Taking the Isam T09, we're going into the brightest shade. That's going to be our inner corner highlight. Low. I'm going to take just a little bit of my finger and use it to brighten up the center of the eyelid. This is like the easiest green look to create. I think a lot of you are going to like this one. And imagine getting this lime green all over the lid and then using this as the crease color. That would be stunning. Okay, I'm gonna put on liner and lashes and you will see the final look. And here is the final look with the green palette. I really love it. This is like wearable, but different, <laughs> you know? And it was super easy to do. This palette is definitely the easiest to use in my opinion. You look at it and you don't need to be creative really to get the look that you want. And I love it, it's gorgeous tones of green here. All right, you guys, so final thoughts on these palettes. I love every single one of them. Every single one of them has an awesome formula, easy to use, a minimal fallout. So formulation is not a concern for these. It's just gonna be, which ones do you want? You know, when, what ones are you gonna pick? That's the tricky part. I think $25 is a decent value. I don't think it's amazing since you are only getting four shades, but Vizier is a pricey brand and I don't think you will be disappointed at all. In terms in terms of ranking them, here we go. My least favorite, but it's still really good, it's just not my favorite color story, is Garnet. But I know a lot of you like the warm tone neutral, so this one would be for you. My third favorite has to be Lapis, and I love this one. This one is so pretty. It's just the one that I feel like I use the least. I love the look that I did, but I was yearning for a matte navy in this quad. I wish instead of the light shade, we got a matte navy. It would have been perfection, or even like a super dark brown that was really cool would have been nice in here. So I don't know, but I still really love it. Number two, this one I did not expect to be top two. I love this. The gold shades in here seem extra buttery and creamy and I was obsessed with the look that I created. This one was probably the favorite look that I created and I feel like even though it's three different shades of gold, they all look extremely different on the eyelid and that goes to prove the quality of Viseart. So this one's really nice. And then just simply because I love the color story so much. Peridot is my number one favorite because I think it's the easiest to create a look with. You don't really need to dig into another palette. And though I created a very simple look, there's some looks that I have in mind that I want to create. And I'm really surprised with these quads, how creative I felt with these. Considering there were only four shades, I felt like there was a lot of different directions that I could go. And because I was limited to just such a small array of colors, I feel like I got a little bit more creative with the looks. And in some ways it set me outside of my comfort zone because they don't have the traditional mattes that most people would expect in here. These palettes may force you to use a shimmer in the crease that you originally wouldn't think to use, but I liked that. It stepped me out of my comfort zone and it worked out really well regardless. So if you are interested in these, I definitely am loving these. These are awesome. If you're new to Vizzy Arts, they also just launched these Itandu palettes. I have a full review on these. Kashmiri, amazing. Bijouette, amazingly fun. So if you haven't tried Vizzy Arts, 
this is a great opportunity to dive in. I think you will really, really like these. So that's all I have for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Thank <laughs> you.